welcome back to Take No Prisoners, the TV program. Uh, my name is Ben Hamper, joined here with my co-host, Jerry Humphrey. Hi, kids. Seems like a long time since I've talked on this TV show. Yeah, you've been absent for yeah, a while. Yeah, I have. More worse than more. Yeah. Well, I'm married. Oh. Um, <laughs> same thing. Tonight's special guests are Flint's own Repulsion. Back up on that shot. There we go. Here's the band. Uh, maybe we'll go around and introduce each band member and uh, whatever they like to say. Yes, uh, hi. <laughs> hi, my name's Dave Grave, and you're not. You play the drums. Nickel Shine Freeman, I play guitar. <laughs> A.K.A. Arnie. I'm Scott, and I play bass and sing a little bit. So that's what you call it. Oh, no. That's the only term I could think of. Some of our uh, Take No Prisoners uh, viewers may recognize Scott as the infamous Bloody Stool from uh, the last My Three She-Males episode. Yeah, it only showed, got played once, and it kind of got yanked. Got, see it. got yeah. canned for I got it taste. on tape. It, we'll be seeing live footage later, and we'll be seeing an extra guy. You want to mention something about... Uh... His name's Matty Otera, I mean, Matt Olivo, and uh, he's in the Army now, stationed in uh, uh, Arizona. Arizona right now, something like that. Anyway, he's not around right now to be with us, but he might be sooner or later. But you'll hear him. You'll uh, see him. Raging guitar player. Oh, yeah. And you'll dig him. He'll be back, probably. Sooner or later. Well, so you, that's that was the original lineup. You three and um, Dan, Mr. Yeah. Levo. Yeah. And uh, when did you guys start? We started in '85. Um, Me and Matt uh, put together the band with Dave. And how long did we play? We played for about six or eight months. And like, we needed a guitar player, a second guitar player for our demo, because it had to be done live in the studio at the uh, over there at FBE and the little sound room there for the Taking mm -hmm. Prisoners radio show. And uh, we needed a second guitar player, so at first we were thinking of Aaron as a session guitarist, and then it worked out so wonderfully when we added him that he's still there like a <laughs> parasite, <laughs> like fungus. A giant leaf. Richie Black is available, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, and since and this is right after ho the holidays, uh, we were going to ask uh, what everyone got for Christmas really quickly. I noticed Dave got these wonderful pair of green shoes. Green shoes. I mean, there's not even a mark Is on Is there a history yet. behind these, or just... No, they're just shoes. They're just shoes. <laughs> What'd you get, Scott? Here? Um, I'm going to England for Christmas. It's past Christmas now, but... Uh, How can you be here, then? Well, I haven't gone yet. I'm That's going it. for Christmas. Might, maybe I won't make it till next year. I don't know. <laughs> what did I get for Christmas? I got a can of shaving cream <laughs> <laughs> from my side. <laughs> Very good. We always we like to highlight unwed fathers on the show. Mm -hmm. no. <laughs> Speaking of unwed fathers, you're about to see four of them. We're going to go to some live footage right now. Of Repulsion taped down at the Capitol Theater, and uh, we know you'll like it. It was like they're, what, are like a... Rebirth a reunion show. It's the first yeah. time that they split up for a while and uh, got back together and did that. And well, the future's open to them now, so uh, watch this footage. Money, son. All right, it's been a long time since we've done this. Uh, I'd like to thank all the people that have been around for a long time, you know, supporting Repulsion and uh, everything else. And uh, since last time we played, we came out with an album on uh, earache necrosis. This is the first song from that album, it's called Stents of Burning Death. Thank you. 
Can you guys hear everything okay? Fair? We'll work it out. All right, that's it. This is also a song from the record, which many of these are, I guess. Might as well stop saying that. This is called uh, Slaughter of the Innocent. Mr. Matty Olivo, who's home from the Army for a couple weeks. And we had the uh, misfortune of having him sit in with us on this little shindig. Ready, yeah, this is a song we wrote way back when. About, well, she four years ago. It's about, a, it's about a little trip to the morgue and the things you might see there. It's called Splattered Cadavers. sound out there? You guys having fun? See, there's a few of you here. Alright, uh, we've only been rehearsing this thing for a couple weeks. And uh, we got a new song that was written by Matt and uh, with a little help from uh, the rest of the band. Uh, 
It, it's about, uh, I don't know. I don't know what it's about. It's called House of Freaks. Shake it. We'll get to those. We're going to play all the hits for you, kiddies. Composed.
This is a song that uh, has been on uh, numerous repulsion, genocide, whatever releases. It's called Acid Bath. This song is uh, six feet under, where we will all most definitely be someday. <laughs> City, California, snuff movie capital of the free world, it's time once again for America's favorite new game show, Mass Murderer Password. Hi, I'm your announcer, Phil DeGrave, and it's my sincere pleasure to introduce the host of the show, a man who once threw his invalid grandmother off a parking ramp just to verify the laws of gravity, Mr. Alan Dutton. Thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Thank you up there and everybody here. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, Phil, and welcome back to Mass Murder Password. Today we have two very special celebrity killers, a couple of guys who spilled more plasma than a jackknife bloodmobile. But before we bring them out, let's meet our two contestants. Phil? First, our reigning champion, a retired gynecologist from Provo, Utah, whose hobbies include fly fishing and making obscene phone calls to Jane Pauley, let's give a warm welcome to Bill Rose. Yay! 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 Our new contestant is a professional stripper who once contracted a very uncomfortable social disease from Ed Meese at a Gigi Allen concert, all the way from Oak Park, Michigan. Say hello to Becky Bottoms. Hi Becky and welcome back Bill. Here's a quick explanation of how the game is played. 
Through a series of one-word clues, you will try to get your partner to identify the secret password. It's so simple, even Matt Collier could play. And now, without further delay, let's meet today's mass murderers, Phil. Making his eighth appearance on Mass Murder Password, a man who knows more about sorority houses than a 12-year grad student, every mother's son, the terrible one, Ted Bundy. Next, a man who hardly needs any introduction, the shaman of Spawn Ranch, the inventor of the creepy crawl, the only man on death row brazen enough to actually write a song called Don't Do Anything Illegal, the hippie you love to hate, especially if your name is Tate, Charlie Manson. By golly, this sure beats the hell out of Tom Bosley and Charles Nelson Riley. Between our two guests, we could open up our own toe tag franchise. Before we start, a couple of quick questions. Ted, how does a man who was electrocuted two years ago retain such a handsome portrait? What's your secret? Oh, a stiff upper lip, facial bondo, plenty of racquetball, rubber underwear, and above all, a taste for ladies. <laughs> I see. And how about you, Charlie? Do you have any immediate plans if you're released from prison? I hear you have a standing offer to replace Donnie in New Kids on the Block. Man, you've been listening to the man too much, man. When I get sprung from here and these pigs let me out, I'm just going to lay back and I'm going to smell the trees, I'm going to smell the flowers, and I'm going to sit by a river. And then when I'm done with that, I think I'm going to take a linoleum knife and carve out Dan Quayle's eyeballs. <laughs> well, that ought to really impress the old pro board, Chuck. Uh, hey, wait a second. My watch stopped running. It's, it's never acted up before. I can't understand. Oh my god. It, it's not nice to snitch, Dudden. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time that we just played the game. Becky and Bill, here's your first password. And Bill, since you're our current champ, you give the first clue. The password is love. Affection? Mescaline. <laughs> Not quite, Charlie. Becky? Fondness. Volkswagen. <laughs> Sorry, Ted. No proper words, Bill. Passion. Revolver butt. Looks like a toughie. Back to Becky. Uh, excuse me, Ted. Uh, we're trying to play the game. I love your neck. What was that, you damn killjoy? Continue with another clue, Becky. Attachment. Strangulation. Okay, Bill, uh, your final chance. Like? Like a rolling stone. How does it Cool, it, Chuck. Uh, name that tune is in the next studio. Uh, back to you, Becky. Hearts. Gaping chest wound. <laughs> Sorry guys, the password was love. Love? What the hell's a love? You got me. Ted, <laughs> your turn on a new word. And now the password is gun. That's gun. Heater. Furnace. Nice try, wrong brain. Charlie? Tex! Cowboy? <laughs> Back to you, Mr. Bundy. Peace. Harmony. Uh, a most definitive lack of communication, uh, Charlie? Upside Wojciech Frakowski's head. Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Madsen, there's a one-word limit. Where's the, who's the pig that taught you that? Let's just continue. Uh, Ted, uh, one last try. Snub nose. Conceded. And not hardly, Becky. Uh, the word was gun. It looks like we're almost out of time. And since we have no winner today, Manson and Bundy will go on to play the lightning round to raise money for their chosen charities. Uh, Charlie, who will you be playing for? I'm going to be playing for the San Quentin Bisexual Shower Stall Fund. <laughs> and Ted, what charity will you be playing for? The Acme Piano Wire Research Foundation. 
Very well, fellows. You will now have one minute to identify as many words as possible. Ted, I understand that you will be giving a clue. If at any time you want to move on, simply say pass, and a new word will be provided. Good luck, and here's your first password. Bart. Boo, 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 boo. Sapling. Uh, Booyosi. Hanging. Uh, groovy. Pass. Electric. Kool-Aid. Stool. Constipation. Recliner. Crawl space. Pass. Corpse. Piggy. Target. M Melcher. Pass. Gag. <laughs> Throw. Decapitate. Neckerchief. Pumpernickel. Pass. Gibberish. Microbiology. Still. Silliness. Silliness. Entrails. Blabber. Door jam. Pass. Sour. Plutonium. Lime. Frogman. Fruit. Spatula. <laughs> well, there you had it. Uh, earache recording stars repulsion. Eric Flint's, Flint's very own. Uh, let's mention uh, <coughs> earache is a label out of England, England right? And, uh, UK. Supposedly, you guys have influenced so many bands from from that portion of the globe, from Europe, That's Germany, stable. Germany, Napalm Death, all that. Well, who am I forget? They're just a slew. Yeah, not there's just there's actually, there's all they all sound alike. So. But uh, Sepultura and uh, Carcass. They're pretty mellow. Um, the Carcass is very mellow. Radiation sickness. We uh, saw, what, I don't maybe we can ask show. Scott because I think uh, Scott does the lyrics. Uh, you know, you, what's with all the gore in your lyrics? I know people are dying to know. You well, know. you know, I saw a lot of horror films when I was a kid, and uh, I went to see Dawn of the Dead in particular, and. Uh, I couldn't sleep after I saw it, and it just ever since then I've just been obsessed with that kind of stuff that just scares me, and you know. Hence, hence we have song titles blood. like uh, "Maggots in Your Coffin" and yeah. uh, 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 "Crematorium" and "Driven to Insane." That's all from guys like Tom Savini, Savini, you know, H.P. Lovecraft. So you guys don't uh, write love you know. songs. Do you, have you ever written a love song? You yeah, know, one Helga. Helga. Yeah, we got oh, a, a song. A it's a, <laughs> you know, it's kind of a yeah. necro love song kind of thing. <laughs> well, that's Dave's. Little yeah, I hear that's the coming thing. Yes, yeah. she loves necro love head. songs. Well, Helga yeah. lost her head. Mm. Mm -hmm. well, it might be interesting to find out what you, these guys do for day jobs. Let's start with Dave. I don't do anything. <laughs> oh. Silk screen printer. I'm a record store clerk. Uh. Dave has, is an avid hunter. He likes to, uh, there's been a couple times he's done the radio show with uh, Doug Earp, and we uh, tend to talk about a lot of killing. And is that what happened to Kenny Mane. Clunder? Yeah. I haven't heard Squirrels him. Squirrels especially. Yeah. Dave is the master squirrel slayer. <laughs> you didn't he can cook him up, too. For like a Kenny Clunder was wearing a, or was or wearing a fur, fur coat one day, oh. and Dave got a little uh, itchy. That's and what happened to Kenny. <laughs> he's gone. Hunter no longer exists. Yeah. Jeez. So, uh, 
We might as well get right back into the music. Music. God, let's hear more music. This band is fantastic. Turn this thing way, way up. If you haven't yet. and uh, Plug it into 11. Okay. Hide all your small children. Because <laughs> here's repulsion. He's over here stealing my water. All right, you guys might want to kick back and uh, take a seat because we're going to go into our epic now. I hope you guys have a lot of patience. This song is called uh, Pastel and Decay, and it's about death and, you know, all kinds of awful things. Guys, still having fun? Is it loud enough? Is it fast enough? Is it heavy enough? All right. This song is called Festering Boils. Yeah. 
Alright, this song is uh, another new song, and it's, uh, it's about an old friend of Dave's. It's called Helga.
Alright, this next song is uh That's about all the sick things in life. Like all of you here, over here. Uh, it's called Repulsion. Some uh, little Russells tonight. Shut up, already. This song is called Bodily Dismemberment. left. Oh. Maggots in your coffin, correction.
thanks a lot for coming out. This is it. This is the title track from the uh, Horrified album. So you can probably guess what it's called. Boys and girls, wasn't that great? Wasn't that about the grooviest thing you've ever heard? The fastest, noisiest? What about influences, <coughs> Dave, music-wise? Uh, the theme to Ant and the Aardvark. Bugs Bonnie. <laughs> uh, Beethoven <laughs> and Scott Carlson. Oh, Hellhammer, definitely. Celtic Frost. Bugs Bunny. Um, Screwy Squirrel. Tex Avery. H.P. Lovecraft, Tom Savini. I just had this weird feeling that we weren't going to get cow sills or the monkeys for an answer out of these guys. I think Dave, I, was, Dave was just getting ready to say Frankie's the Four Seasons now. Oh, you like the Four Seasons? Yeah. Well, it looks like we're getting the signal to get out of here, but... Uh, thanks for tuning in mm -hmm. once again. Yeah. Hope you liked uh, Mass Murder Password. Oh, and, that was... Uh, so, <laughs> be here next month. We'll have another band. Two weeks from now, exactly. I think we're going to have the Beatles next month. Yeah. Okay. Night. Bye. Holy oh. shit.